सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन द अर्लियर क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ लो रेस्टिविटी कंडक्टिविटी मटेरियल फॉर एग्जांपल गोल्ड सिल्वर कॉपर एक्सेट्रा राइट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल दिस मटेरियल्स विद देयर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एग्जांपल्स एंड एप्लीकेशंस राइट so today in this lecture we will discuss the properties of high rest high resistivity material right high resistivity material so i told you the typical example of high resistivity material right first let me take nichrome right nichrome so this nichrome is a high resistive high resistivity material right it is silver white in color okay it is silver white in color and it is it is ductile and can be drawn into thin wires all right and thin sheets as per your desired shape and as per the desired shape and size right so this nichrome is basically an alloy ye nichrome kya hai ye ek alloy hai kiska nichrome is an alloy of nickel and chromium manganese and uh, iron right so these are the material which are mixed when they are mixed it will become nichrome right so you can see here this is an alloy right all right so ni stands for nickel right and then chromium is cr stands for chromium right cro stands for chromium and it is manganese and iron right so these are the elements so nickel is around 78% right and chromium is 20% right after then manganese that is mn it is around 1. 5% right 1.5% and remaining is iron right remaining is iron and iron is very very less it is 0.5% right so this is a composition of nichrome right so this composition you have to keep this in your mind right in exam they will ask you the composition of nichrome and they will ask you its property and example and applications right so this is the typical composition of nichrome all right okay so we were discussing the properties of nichrome so like i said it is ductile and it can be drawn into thin wires okay and thin sheets it has good mechanical strength it has high value of resistivity right and its temperature coefficient of resistance is 0.0001 right so this is the typical properties of nichrome right so it is uh, what are the typical application where it is used so you know that uh, nichrome is used in heating elements basically right it is used in heating elements so so for example heating elements of electric iron heating element of electric oven heating element of electrical furnaces heating element of heater and heating element heating element of room heater these are the typical application of this nichrome right so so in exam properties will be asked to you of these typical material so next material is manganese right 
नेक्स्ट हाई रेस्टिविटी मटेरियल इज मैंगनीज राइट सो मैगनीज इट इज एन अलॉय ऑफ कॉपर एंड मैगनीज एंड निकेल राइट कॉपर इज एटी सिक्स परसेंट ओके मैगनीज इज ट्वेल्व परसेंट एंड निकेल इज टू परसेंट सो दिस इज द टिपिकल कंपोजिशन मैगन इन राइट सो मैगन इन इफ यू सी द टिपिकल कंपोजिशन सो इफ यू सी द टिपिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ मैगन इन राइट सो मैगन इन द it is an alloy alloy of which element first is copper it is 86% right and then after manganese is an alloy of copper copper is 86% manganese manganese mn is 12% right and then after nickel nickel is 2% only right so when you mix these three material with these percentages right you will get this manganese okay so this typical composition will be asked in your exam all right so now what are the properties of this manganese so it can easily be drawn into thin wires because it is ductile right it is ductile so it can be drawn into thin sheets all right and it has electrical resistance it electrical resistivity but it has low value of temperature coefficient of resistance right so what are the typical application of manganese the typical applications are it is used in wire wound precision resistance right it is used for measuring it is used in manganese measuring instruments right it is used for shunts okay ammeter shunt okay for electrical measuring instruments it is used in resistance boxes it is used in a standard resistance coil right for measuring instruments right so these are the typical applications right and also you can use in electrical heaters also right electric iron also you can use this next material is constant and right constant so now let us discuss constant right it is an constant and it is an alloy right again it's very very important constant and constant and right constant and so constant and is an alloy of copper and nickel 60% copper right and 40% nickel so this is a typical composition see here this is the constant and this composition composition will be asked to you in the exam right they will ask you to write the composition of constant and its application and properties right so this is a typical composition of constant and so constant and is basically an alloy of it is an alloy of copper and nickel right its melting point is 1300 degrees celsius right its temperature coefficient of resistance is very very low 0.00002 right it does not corrode in the presence of air and moisture right so properties of these such all such material are more or less similar right if you keep properties of one element in your mind you can write properties of other elements also right with their similarities right now what are the typical applications it is used in making resistance element for a rheostat right for rheostat and its starters of electric motors right it is used in making resistance element in the resistance boxes thermocouples so you can find its application in basically in thermocouples right so 
in thermocouple basically due to temperature difference of the two junction you will get an induced emf right due to the temperature difference right so it is used for resistance element in field regulators right but is which is used for regulating the generalized voltage of generator right generated voltage of generator right so these are the typical applications right okay so these are the properties of constant and now next high resistivity material let me discuss it is platinum right it is platinum right platinum see it is it is a grayish white metal and it is chemically inert matter material right platinum is chemically inert right its melting point is 1775 degrees celsius 1775 degrees celsius right its resistivity is very very low right of the order of 10 to power minus 6 ohm meter right it has good thermal stability that means it does not it does not get oxidized even at high temperature right it does not get ex it does not get oxidized even at high temperature right so these are the typical properties right of platinum right now it can be drawn into thin sheets right because of its ductility it combines with many metals to form different different alloys right now what are what are the applications so application is that it is used as electrical contact material right it is it can be used in electrical contact material it is used in thermocouple right for example for example platinum rhodium thermocouple are used for measurement of temperature up to 1600 degree celsius right up to 1600 degree celsius right so platinum rhodium thermocouple in the platinum rhodium thermocouple platinum is used for the measurement of temperatures up to 1600 degrees celsius right and also the it is used in materials for grids in vacuum tubes right okay grids in vacuum tubes it is it can also be used as heating element in the laboratory ovens right and furnaces so these are the typical application of platinum right they can ask you in the exam all right next material is mercury right so it is it is heavy silver white metal so mercury is basically metal right it and it is the only metal which is available in the liquid form right at room temperature okay you should know this and it is a poisonous material yes it is a poisonous material and it gets oxidized in presence of oxygen if heated beyond 350 degrees celsius right melting point its melting point is hardly 38.8 degrees celsius right its expansion and contraction is uniform over a wide range of temperature changes right now what are the typical applications of mercury as you all know that mercury mercury it is used in the mercury vapor lamps right it is used in mercury vapor lamps and it is used in manufacturing of thermometers it is used in manufacturing of thermometers right due to its property due to its excellent property of equal expansion and contraction for equal temperature changes right due to its excellent properties of equal expansion and equal contraction for equal temperature changes it is widely used in thermometer for temperature measurements right 
and it is also used in mercury arc rectifiers right and it is used for making the making the mercury vapor laps right so these are the typical application of mercury right okay next material next high density material let us discuss it is tungsten right tungsten so it is gray in color and it is one of the standard resistivity material right it has very high melting point around 3300 degrees celsius right yes 3300 degrees celsius that means double three double zero degree celsius right it is very hard metal and do not become brittle at high temperature right it can be drawn into very thin wires for making filaments for making filaments right just listen to my voice its resistivity is twice of aluminium right it oxidizes very quickly in presence of oxygen right it oxidizes very quickly in presence of oxygen that's why you know that in electric lamps it is the vacuum which is kept inside the electric lamp in which your filament is fabricated right so because if the oxygen is present then it will get oxidized easily in presence of oxygen that's why vacuum is kept inside the electric bulb right so it has very high tensile strength in its thinnest form right means the that means the thinnest the tungsten tungsten wire the greater is the tensile strength right so the the atmosphere uh, the atmospheric atmosphere of inert gases like argon or in vacuum it can easily work at 2000 even at 2000 degree celsius right so in the vacuum or in presence of inert gases it can easily work at 2000 2000 degrees celsius right so what are the typical applications you know it already it is used in lamps as filaments due to its high melting point and it is used as heater coils in ele electron tubes right to heat the cathode for liberating electrons right so these are the typical applications of tungsten so ye ye properties aapse puchi jayegi exam mein right so now today's assignment is you will have to write the properties and applications of nichrome number 1 number 2 constantin right number 3 tungsten right number 4 manganese manganese right manganese number 5 platinum right so you have to write the properties and application in this assignment properties of what let me repeat properties of properties of nichrome number 1 number 2 constantin number 3 manganese number 4 platinum number 5 tungsten so all these five are very very important definitely they will be asked in your exam so that is your assignment you have to complete this right and submit within the next two days submit the assignment within the next two days okay so thank you very much so let us wind up